guys, I'm Fresh Irish Gamer, and welcome to Tokyo. So yeah, I've landed in Tokyo about two and a half days ago now, and uh, this is like the first time I've actually had like time to record from uh, just trying to get used to places and uh, you know not die. So I've got pretty used to this area, this is where I'm staying. Uh, unfortunately, it's not in any of them, or I have a great view. It is. Hopefully up here somewhere. Uh, as I said, I've been here for about two and a half days. I arrived Monday morning at nine o'clock, and uh, yeah, I, I basically spent about an hour and a half in the airport, like getting past customs and signing shit and that. About forty-five minutes in the train to get into Tokyo. Then like another hour or two to actually you know get out to this area and uh, like figure out exactly where the hostel was. But, uh, and my phone was on about 10% this whole time. So, uh, yeah, I was, I was, you know, pushing my luck and hoping my phone didn't die before I could actually figure out where the hostel was. So, uh, but luckily I found it and then checking wasn't until four o'clock so I had to wait outside for a while. And then, uh, then someone came and let me in and I went upstairs and packed my bags and I just died. I fell asleep straight away and didn't wake up until like later that evening, like nine o'clock, and realized, you know, it's not much point going out now, went back to sleep. So uh, that brings me to Tuesday morning, which was yesterday morning, and uh, I went into Akihabara, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but uh, you get the gist. Uh, it's, it's electric town, I, I took a good few photos, uh, you know, messed about, just, you know, getting, getting used to the train system and everything. Yeah, that was that was fun. I did. I spent like I don't know seven hours in uh, Akihabara yesterday, and then I went into Uno, and that was fun. Uh, I was only there for like an hour or so before I decided to fuck up and going home. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's just keep uh, keep on walking. But uh, so this this is a. Uh, I'm not sure what the exact part of it. It, it is in Tokyo. But the nearest train station here is called Oto, and uh, yeah, apparently every time I say that to uh, a person at the train station, I want to go to Oto, they're like, well, this is like, Oto, oh, Oto, this is like, that's exactly what I said, and uh, yeah, but apparently I'm always saying it wrong, but fuck me, this is a nice view, if only if it was higher, but who, who cares, but uh, yeah, this is, oh god, and today I went back, I went, I actually went to uh, Zen, Zenu, basically went to a shrine there, it was pretty dope, stayed like there for like two hours, and uh, then I went to, back to Uno, or Uno, Ono, whatever it's called, and I went to the zoo there, and I took a shit ton of pictures, I mean, like my Snapchat is just fucking, literally 130 fucking ah fuck nearly tripped uh, like 130 pictures long with uh fucking I don't know just random ass animals and Joe just fucking scenery and if you want guys check that out I'll leave my snapchat name in the description if it's not already there but uh it's Fergalas34 and uh yeah I'll leave it in the description if you want to check out my snapchat story and see what I'm up to in Tokyo so uh, I still got another you know full seven days of uh, fucking about, so there will be plenty of uh, action, I guess. But yeah, I don't know what I'm doing now. This is okay. There's a person there. Let's uh, let's keep on walking. But uh, yeah, so this is this is this is a quiet enough part of uh, Tokyo. But uh, I haven't actually went into Tokyo, like the actual main like city station yet because I was kind of saving that for a day that I can actually I get up in the morning every morning at like 7 or not even earlier 6 so I can actually talk to my friends back in Ireland before they go to sleep so uh yeah like ah like every time I get back from like a day of like fucking messing about in Tokyo it just I just want to watch anime because it's like ah this reminds me of some anime and then I realize I can't watch it because the Wi-Fi doesn't let me you know do anything on Google, it, you know, fucking Facebook Messenger, fine, Snapchat, grand, any other app, fine, like Google or, you know, my like anime watching website, doesn't work, so, uh, 
that's uh that's yeah youtube works but unfortunately i can't find the episode i'm looking for on youtube and i don't want to skip ahead so uh this is this is nice i don't know what i'm doing but this is nice but uh yeah that's 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 a lot so far uh i do have i have taken a fucking ton of photos and show you that that i will be uh oh uh, I'll put a collage together, but I can't do that on my phone right this minute. Oh, what's down here? This looks uh, safe as shit. Okay, this is... Wow. Well then. Uh, this... Oh, okay. Oh, water. I better hold on to my phone with two hands. So, yeah. This is... That's the train, so... Train station would be... Where am I? Oh, no, wait. No, it's it's on that way so uh i'm gonna go away from this area because i do not want to fall in, i don't want my phone to fall in the water because that would be shit that would that would literally put a bummer on my fucking whole trip well basically my whole trip but uh <gasps> this is it wow i uh, you know i i i didn't actually tell anyone, like the many people i told that i was going was uh one of my friends and uh you know my family but uh that, that was really it. I didn't tell everyone else until I actually, like, you know, arrived. And uh, a lot of people freaked out. And, well, when they say freaked out, like, Dude, you're in Tokyo, you lucky bastard, why didn't you invite me? And I was like, like, you fucking had the money. And they're like, how can you afford it? And it's just like, well, it's not actually that bad. And uh, when I actually get back, I'm going to do a video on, like, how, no, how, how you can actually go to Tokyo pretty cheaply. Uh... Like, I'm literally spending, like, 15, 20 euro a day. And, uh, you know, having a fucking amazing experience. Like, basically, I think if if, if you really like Tokyo, like, it, it just, you don't have to spend that much. If, like, you can, there's a lot you can do for free. As in, most shrines are free. As long as, like, if you don't actually enter the actual shrine, like, the temple place, it's free. If you want to like look around, fucking the zoo cost me like five euro to get in. So everything's it's pretty fucking cheap here. Like you wouldn't think it. Um, but then other people are like, uh, oh, but like how are you meant to get around? How are you meant to understand? No one speaks English. That ain't fucking true. A lot of the signs have English written right under it, and uh, that's what that's what shocked me. I didn't actually believe there was, you know, there's, there's actually a lot of fucking English signs and you know just. It's, it's, it's easy for like English tier, tier, tourists, but uh, ah, it's it's quite good actually. Like food, dirt cheap. Fucking, you know, I'm not I'm not eating fucking, you know, I'm not eating it out every night at a fucking fancy restaurant. But fucking, you know, I'm happy with a fucking basically a pot noodle. So uh, I do actually actually fucking you know get proper food, but uh, still, again, doesn't cost that much. If you if you know how to fucking save and you know you can do a lot of stuff for free and you know trains fucking two euro to get like halfway across you know a big fucking distance and ah oh, I don't know it's amazing I don't know so uh, as I said this has been my only time that I've been free to make a video and uh, I will do a lot more but when I get back I will do a big collage of a lot of things and. Yeah, all my photos and shit like that, so that'll be fun. So, that's really it. So, stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.